Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bo. Today we're starting up a new series called Games for Work, and this is a really, really good one. Uh, in this case, this game is called Blades of Legends. It's a game that one of my fans kind of turned me on to, and because you know I'm sitting at work all day, and I'm like, man, I wish I could do something that was kind of fun. Yet I get to talk to people and kind of just have a little interaction, and this was perfect. So what this game is, it's a perpetual browser-based RPG. And there's elements of kind of like an idle game where you kind of can set, automate your battles, what you'll have. Because the way this game works is you are controlling a character. It's not like physically going there and like attack, heal, blah, blah, blah. It's not like that kind of thing. What it is is like you're directing a hero. So in this case, the hero is, haha, me, crossbow gaming. Now, if you go here, you're gonna, the main objectives are either trade skill or battle. Trade skill is stuff like go out hunt or chop down wood or something like that, because these resources you use later for building crap. I'm not quite there yet, so I'm not wasting my time. Right now, I'm just trying to level up. Now, leveling up, you have a couple choices. You could either say, okay, I want to battle any number of things, because there's all kinds of stuff you can battle, but you're going to have to kind of improve your, your hero a lot had to step up to these bigger and bigger battles. So how you do that is you go here to battle and press fight. Ah, yeah, I won. Oh, yeah. So it tells me stuff like what was my hit points, what's the hit points of the mob. So the hit points of the mob don't change, but yours do. As you're killing things, there is a chance that you can drop uh, either stats, because in this game, you increase your stats by killing things or by doing stuff in trade skill. Basically, if you're just doing trade skill gathering or whatnot, eventually something will drop and it'll be right here. It'll say something like, oh, you increased your attack by one. You increased your health by one. You increased uh, defense by one. And by doing the battles over and over and over, you can do that. But there's a faster way of doing this. So check this out. This is one cool feature about this game. The reason I like it is because for me, it's a work game, a game I can play on my laptop at work auto fight. Look at that. So this is 19 autos up here on the tab. So it's telling me that I have 19 remaining automatics. Oh, see, there we go. There's an evasion. So it increased it by a hundredth of a percent, right? So we got that. So it tells me all the stuff that's dropped. So this is your drop log. This is your kill log. This is good for tracking how much experience you got, what your kill percentage is. Because what you're shooting for is if you can get about a hundred percent on a particular mob after a couple rounds of doing this, you may wish to try a, a more advanced mob and see if you can do any better. And if you don't really do well at that, you can just sit there grinding this one. Now you're thinking, grind? What? Dude, it's not that bad. Because remember, the purpose of work, games for work, <laughs> is I'm over here doing other stuff, right? So imagine this is like spreadsheets and accounting software or whatever for me, because I'm an accountant. Well, I'm not an accountant, but I'm a software guy that does accounting systems. Anyway, don't worry about that. So you're over here doing some other stuff. You're logged into remote servers. You're doing your thing. And I can still peek over here and see that I have 11 attacks. So I'm still doing stuff in the background, no problem, which is pretty sick. Yeah, that's a good video right there. What's that? Oh, that's mine. Oh, that's right. So I can see I have 11 attacks left. And, oh, well, it says that I've killed everything. I've gotten that much gold since I started, and here's all my drops. Now, a lot of you smart folks are going to sit down here and look at right about here. That's right. Every single person in this game is connected to the same chat log, and it's all on the same server, honestly. So you can sit there and say, like, anything you want. Say, oh, howdy, guys. You know, obviously I'm a peasant. I'm just just got kind of started which is kind of cool and you know people can talk to you and you can talk to them and if you want to you can message people and it's a really pretty cool social aspect to this game because up here I'm just auto battling doing my thing but maybe I want to jump in and talk about this guy about hey when I started college I was gathering 10 people with some beer and video games till like 3 a.m. ah lols me too so you can it's just kind of fun you know so um, this is a fun aspect about this game. There's just really kind of a nice thing about uh, like this perpetual style online game because most of the perpetual style games, you know, like some of the other ones like Cookie Clicker and all those, there's, there's no social aspect. You're not talking to anybody. You're just clicking on it and letting it kind of run in the background. You got to wait like 12 hours, 20 hours for it to, to kind of work, right? You can get kind of lame. But this, I mean, there is an element of, hey, guys, I'm having trouble with this. How do you get past this? How does this work? 
and people will answer you, which is kind of sweet. All right, so back to the game by itself. We got enough of that. So there are a lot of different things. Now, I'm just kind of starting in this game, so I don't have access to any of the Artisan Square. The Artisan Square is like you can enchant your weapons and whatnot, but y you need quite a bit of resources in order for that to happen. Uh, so that takes a while. That takes a long while, but you can get there. Uh, the nice part is if you want to buy like equipment and whatnot, uh, these are legendaries, but don't don't worry about legend. It's not the same as like World of Warcraft legendary. It's these are weapons and armor that are created to kind of match the tier you're at. So you can buy all these as soon as you got the gold, which is really nice because if you got gold laying around, you can buy all these to at least get a basic setup. But cool part is eventually you might get some drops. Like I got a drop on these epic boots, which have little gem slots. And gems, as you can imagine, drop. Well, here's the ticker, right? You, the gems will drop, but you need to have, uh oh, the gem crafting lab, which kind of takes a while. But you can also have friends that will then can do that for you. So you can actually send those gems over for other people to craft, you know, if you get there. But, anyways, it's just more of an overview of what's up. So you equip different weapons and different armor to give yourself more protection and more attack. So when you're in your battles, like, let's say, let's go up to a feral cat, right? This is one, one level above me. Oh, I lost that one. Ow. But it tells me a lot of interesting stuff. It tells me I hit that mob five times and missed a bunch, right? I attacked ten times, which means I hit it five times. So I can see my average damage is pretty crap. But we're getting closer to where that, that mob's HP is, right? So, and this is stuff I kind of check out as I see what's my total damage. What's my total damage taken? So if I can get my hit points up, I have a better shot at getting starting to be able to kill these damn things. Now, let's see. Let's try that Feral Cat one more time. Foit. Oh, triple time. Yay. Every once in a while, there's like a random time where there will be a triple experience. Sometimes it's random. Sometimes it lasts for like five minutes or like an hour. So, you know, this is when you go triple EXP. And then kind of just make sure that people are doing their auto. Because <laughs> a lot of people are sitting there talking and just saying howdy. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. So this guy purchased five minutes of triple and made, ah, oh, that's really nice of him. That's super sweet. Super sweet. Uh, and what I, what I mean by that is people can come here and, like, get temporary boosts or permanent boosts and stuff. And then it kind of contributes and helps the dude who made this thing. Um which is pretty sick. So that's, it's, it's really nice. I like the fact that you're pretty easy to kind of play the game. It's not very high impact. I mean, but it's interesting because you're continuously building the character. You're constantly checking, okay, so how's my damage? How are my skills? Do I have enough skills to be able to move on to the next mob? And it's a little bit like World of Warcraft, just chase the, chase the dragon a little bit, but in a more relaxed social atmosphere that's perfect if you're at work. So you can be sitting there doing your and then seeing I got my battles rocking and rolling, which is pretty dope. So, uh, Okay, now here's the ask for you guys. If you made it this far, why don't you just try the damn game? So, I mean, um, what is it? What is that thing? There you go. There it is right there. So if you're interested in trying this game, now what I'd like you to do is, I know this is a referral link, but the interesting part about this referral link is it will tell people, you know, hey, you know, Bo has X amount of referrals. And the, the reason I kind of like that idea is because obviously this is, I'm just upfront guys. It means anytime you guys, they get like 10% or whatever, right? But don't worry about it. The one I want is, if I have referrals, I can show this guy who owns this game, like, hey, you know, I've got 50 people that joined and played your game and enjoy it, and you got some more consistent. Can I get a deal for all of my people? So if I refer people to your game, can I get them a super duper crossbow gaming deal? And that's what I want to do. I want to test that. So if you guys are made it this far in the in the game, you in the video, you're kind of interested in the game, uh, hit the referral link that's in the description below. Uh, again, I'm up front, right? It's a referral link. I'm getting a little something, but I don't think it's going to be a huge amount. The whole point of this is just to show here are all the people that have joined from my channel, 
And I think it would be a great opportunity for us to kind of make like a, you know, gaming for work, like raid, where we could just raid these games and check them out. You like them, great. You don't, whatever. But it's free to play. Uh, so anywho, guys, this is a damn good game for playing at work, simply for a couple of reasons. It is quick and easy to play. You can auto fight, so you can be doing stuff in the background, no problem, blah, 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 blah. And it's really low profile and doesn't really take a lot of resources. Uh, so if that's all interesting for you guys, hit that, check it out, you know, use the link below so that way we can tag it. And also if you want extra double credit, put an X at the front of your username. So that way anytime someone talks to you and you may know that an X in the front means it came from me. And then we're part of my crew. Uh, and eventually if a lot of us keep playing and I kind of, we start doing better, I, at least I do better, maybe I can make a clan here. So that way we can actually have some fun. But I have a shitload of mithril I need to get in order to make that happen. So <laughs> maybe we can negotiate that shit if a bunch of you join. <laughs> but it'd be fun. Anyway, uh, if you guys like the idea of this kind of series where games for work, um, you know, definitely let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Or if you have any other suggestions of other games that you think I should check out, put those in the comments below too. Because uh, I'd like to kind of see what you guys are playing or interested in when you kind of have like a downtime chill or you're at work and you have to kind of be on the DL, right? That's kind of the purpose of these. It's just kind of, you know, I want to be able to play a game and have a little bit of fun. But at the same time, I don't want to get totally busted. That kind of thing. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>